All right, so this video is designed to show you how to test an ignition coil um, with a multimeter. If you don't have a multimeter, the other way to test an ignition coil is the redneck way. So if you think it's the ignition coil and you pulled this from cylinder four like I did in my video, put this in a different cylinder, swap it. Now put it in cylinder one and put cylinder one in cylinder four. And then clear your engine code, go test drive it, pull your new engine code. code. If it's still misfiring on cylinder four, it's unlikely that this was bad. If it is now misfiring on cylinder one, this is your problem. Replace it. That's the redneck way to do it. You can do the same thing with the spark plug at the same time to do the redneck test. Basically put these in different cylinders. Put this in cylinder two, put the other spark plug in cylinder four. Put this in cylinder one, put the other plug, or sorry, ignition coil in cylinder four, and then rerun it. And then pull your engine code again. If the misfire is in cylinder one now, you know it's that your coil's bad. If your misfire's in cylinder two now, you know that your spark plug's bad. That's the, recommend, that's the redneck way to do it, and it still works. The multimeter way to do it is you test the voltages on both aspects, right? So I'm gonna use my multimeter. I'm gonna set it to resistance, specifically ohms. I'm gonna set it to 200 ohms, because it's gonna be less than 200. Um, I'm gonna use my connections here and show you that you're gonna check this two pin circuit right here. So you're gonna hold on one pin, and then touch to the other pin and let me show you the voltage here and it should range between like 1.3 and like 2. okay so 1.3 1.2 it's it's within normal range so that circuit's good next you're going to check your actual output circuit so you're going to put one side into where your spark plug would go and make sure it's touching that metal spring in there and then you're going to check your terminal that would connect and give me my flow through so i'm checking there and i should be basically getting six thousand so def definitely move this over to the twenty thousand you should be getting six thousand or more for these coil outputs if it's new so i'm not getting any output and i know for a fact that this is in there touching that spring i can feel it hitting the spring and i know that i am touching my terminal right here if you aren't confident you can move it over to the other terminal but i should get resistance between this circuit and the main output. And I'm not getting any resistance, which tells me that this is a faulty ignition coil. And if you don't believe me, the way we double checked is here. I've already bought a new ignition coil because I knew my problem, right? So this is a brand new ignition coil, same exact vehicle. So let's go ahead and recheck everything and I'll show you the demonstration. So we'll check that top circuit first, put it back to 200, touch and touch. So brand new ignition coil, resistance in that circuit, 1.3, just like the old one. But now when we check our actual output circuit and we move it back up to 220K, so it's gonna be in the thousands now. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in there, make sure we're touching our metal spring. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna check this first plug here on the left. Look at that. That's 6,550 ohms of resistance going through the main coil. That tells me that this one's fresh and this one's good. And this was my problem before. So let's go ahead and replace this and get our car back to running. All right, hope you guys liked that video and we'll subscribe for more.